Bible. <laughs> the burning bush. Do you remember how the Israelites were once slaves in Egypt? Oh, yes. It was a really hard time for God's people. It was. But as God often did, he had a plan to help his people. And this time, it started with Moses. Oh, I know him. Moses was the baby that grew up in Pharaoh's palace, even though he was an Israelite. You remembered. Moses was living in Pharaoh's palace of plenty. He ate Pharaoh's fine foods and dressed in Pharaoh's dandy duds. All in all, he lived a pretty fine life. Yes, well, that was until... Uh-oh, what happened? Moses saw an Egyptian man hitting an Israelite and he got really, really mad. Stop treating him that way, stop. Stop! Moses got so mad that he hurt the Egyptian really bad. Oh, no! The Egyptian died, and right away Moses knew he was in big trouble. If they catch me, it'll be the end. So what did he do? He ran. He ran right out of Egypt. He kept on running. He ran so far that he ran straight into the desert. And there he stayed. Wow. For how long? A few months? No. A year? Nah. A couple of years. Three, four, five, six, ten? Forty. Forty years? He was there so long that he met a nice girl named... Zipporah. Got married had kids, and became a... Here, Cotton Ball. Here, Cream Puff. Here, Lamby Wamby. A shepherd? Right. And although Moses didn't have all the fancy stuff from his old life, his new one was pretty good. At least it was better than going back to Egypt and getting thrown in jail. So, Moses figured he'd just stay in the desert and never go back to Egypt. But things in Egypt were not going well for the Israelites. So, one day... Huh? What's that? Moses saw something weird. A bush was burning, but it didn't burn up. Mm, what do you mean? The bush just kept burning and burning. And then, if that wasn't weird enough... Moses... The bush spoke? Only it wasn't the bush speaking, it was God. Take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. I have heard the cry of the Israelites. It is time to save them and bring them to the land I promised. Well, that, that sounds like a good idea. I want you to lead them. Well, that sounds just... Excuse me? Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. M m me Moses went on to explain to God why that was not a very good idea. Although he was important before, he was a nobody now. He wasn't very popular in Egypt after a man had died and it was his fault. Pharaoh wouldn't listen to him and people wouldn't believe him and... Uh, I'm not a great public speaker. Uh, no. I will go with you. Hold out your staff. But... So God turned Moses' staff into a snake. Ah! and then back into a staff. Will you do cool stuff like that in front of Pharaoh? Yes, and things even more amazing than that. So what did Moses do? What could he do? He knew God was calling him to do a special job. He knew God promised to go with him. <laughs> so 
Moses picked up his staff and he and his family started walking back to Egypt to do what God asked him to do. And God went with him. Yep, he sure did.